What's up people? Good day, good morning, good evening. I hope you're well and blessed wherever you find yourself, no matter what corner of the globe you see yourself on. I pray that you learn to spread the gospel through the te through your testimonies, through not just being hearers of the word, but being doers of the word, applying the word to your life and seeing results so you can more fully live in prosperity, joy, peace and health in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So just a quick announcement, this Sunday, 7 p.m., we're going to be doing, or 7 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, shall I say. We're going to be doing a prayer service and we're going to do prophetic prayer. And we're going to pray the house down for spiritual warfare. We're going to pray against demonic spirits. We're going to pray against the enemy. And we're going to go to war in the realm of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So today's study verses are Galatians 6, 9 and, and Matthew 6, 33 to 34. And I'm going to start by reading Galatians 6, 9, and then I'll move on. So, it says here Galatians 6, 9 from the New Living Translation, and we're going to compare three different versions, the NLT, the Amplified, and as always, the Tree of Life version, for a more deeper understanding of the scriptures. And it reads, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. And from the Amplified, it reads, let us not grow weary or become discouraged in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap if we do not give in. Now from the tree of life, it reads, So let us not lose heart in doing good. For in due time, we will reap if we don't give up. So we'll go to Matthew 6, 33, 34. And from the NLT, it declares, Seek the kingdom of God above all else. And live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. And from the Amplified, the Lord declares, But first and most importantly, seek, aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right, the attitude and character of God, and all these things will be given to you also. So do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And from the Tree of Life version it reads, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So what are the scriptures telling you? What are they communicating to you? And what is the Ruah HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, speaking to you right now? Think about that and then come back in one. So what is it saying? It's saying first and foremost, we need to strive after God's standard. We need to strive after his kingdom, establishing his kingdom on earth. We need to strive after serving his kingdom here on earth, expanding his kingdom here on earth, serving God with all our heart, mind, body, and spirit. Serving God with everything we got. Why? What does it say here? His way of doing and being right. The attitude and character of God. And all these things will be given to you also, it says here. But first and most importantly, seek, aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness. We just seek and strive after his way of doing things. His attitude and character that he's given us as an example through the life, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. His character is on display to us, a character of agape, of, of love, of unconditional love, sacrificial love. Love is willing to lay down its life for one's neighbour. And that's exactly how we should look to replicate Jesus Christ's character in sacrificial love, in picking up our cross in sacrifice and following him, in serving our neighbour as ourselves. And that means putting God first and people second and ourselves last. And Galatians 6, 9 declares, so let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So God never said it's going to be it's going to be easy. He never said it's going to be easy to follow his path, to replicate the character of Jesus, to sacrifice, to sacrifice one's desires for the kingdom, to seek the kingdom first above all things, to put God first in our heart. He never said it's going to be easy, but what does it say here? It said, and we're going to read from the Amplified, let us not grow weary or become discouraged in doing good. So let's not grow weary or discouraged and understand that we're called to a higher purpose. And our higher purpose is serving the kingdom of God. Our higher purpose is serving Jesus Christ. Our higher purpose 
is loving our neighbour as ourselves, ministering to God's people, bringing people into the house of the Lord. Our purpose is to have zeal for his house, to go forth and do exploits in his name and make a change, a positive change here on earth. And there's too much negativity in the world today, but we can't just sit idly by and allow this evil to take over the earth. We've got to go out there and fight in the spiritual realm. So La like Foya said it is, we've got to fight in the spiritual realm for God. We need to fight to do better, to, to be better in the mighty name of Jesus. So it says here, so let's not grow tired, or sorry, get tired of doing what is good at just the right time. We will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So we'll parallel this. It says, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. So what's it saying? We've got to seek the kingdom first and not worry about tomorrow. Seek the kingdom first and look to continue to do good and not grow weary. And how do we grow weary? We're sitting there thinking, how's God going to do this? How's God going to do that? How's God going to change things? But I'm here to tell you today, family, anything is possible for God. Anything is more than possible for God. So it says here, so don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow brings its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. So God is saying to take things one step at a time. Don't grow weary and tired of doing what is good. Continue to plant positive seeds in order to reap a positive future. What does that mean? It means every word and action we speak and do here on earth plants a seed that leads to the fruit of our future, whether positive or negative. And we've got to make a choice to continue on the right path. Continue sowing into the kingdom. Keep, continue sowing from the spirit. Continue sowing from a place of love. Continue sowing from a place of positivity in order to reap a more positive life. So it says here, seek the kingdom of God above all else. That means don't put an idol in your heart. Look to seek God's kingdom first and foremost in your life. Don't look to serve your soul. Don't look to serve, you know, your work, your job, money, material items. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And this is a very important part, his righteousness. Many people, many believers are stumbled. Why? Because they decide they, they decide that their righteousness is more important than God's righteousness. And I remember this guy come up to me in the street when we were street pe preaching and my friend, my brother, Rev J was performing and he was like, I'm more righteous than you. Like, <laughs> with like proper vileness in his voice. He was like, I'm more righteous than you. But no, he wasn't. And I'm not saying that I'm more righteous than him. I don't know that. But it says here, it says here, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. So what is it saying? Basically, it's saying to seek God's righteousness, not our own righteousness. If we, if we were to make it by our own self-righteousness and not the righteousness God imparts on us, then we wouldn't have to be Christians. The Pharisees could have made it into heaven because they were full of self-righteousness. They were puffed up and thought they had everything right with God. That kind of thinking is incorrectly. We're called to remain humble. And when we remain humble, God blesses our life. When we believe we're righteous, when we believe we're self-righteous, sorry. When we're self-righteous, for all this puffed up pride, I'm more righteous than you. That's when we close, close the door to the blessing of God. Why? Because a person who is prideful cannot submit to God. A person who is prideful, God can't use and work through because a person who is prideful is unteachable. Someone who's prideful has an unteachable spirit. That's why God says we must be humble and obedient. We must come to him like little children because little children are open to what their parents are showing them, are believing, like na almost a naive-like belief. But that's how what we're meant to have. God wants us to have a childlike belief in him. And that means to have a na naive-like belief thinking, I, I don't know, I, I believe you, it's going to happen. Like I'm not, I don't see how it's going to happen but it's going to happen and that's exactly what we're going to have so let's not grow weary in doing what is good but continue to sow seeds to lead to a more positive future understanding that today's trouble is enough for today and we need to take life one step at a time what God is saying is don't grow weary don't grow tired continue to look at me continue to look at my throne and understand if we take this day by day step by step you're going to see how your life is going to transform on one day You'll look back in five years' time and you'll be shocked how far you've come. Why? Because the Lord declares here today that he has come so that you may live life and live it more abundantly and that he has a plan for your life. He has a purpose for your life. And if you submit to him, remain humble, seek his kingdom above all things, he will supply you for your every need. How much will he supply you? He will supply you abundantly so you are able to serve him and give to others. Why? 
Because as believers, as people of the kingdom, we're called to first and foremost love God with no idol in our heart. Second, serve and love people. And then third, serve ourselves. And as we're doing these things, as we continue to serve others, as we continue to, to serve God, we're going to plant seeds that lead to a more abundant future. And meanwhile, God's going to open a door to his blessings over our life. Have a great day today. In Jesus' name, peace. I love you all.